This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today I'm going to show you how to beat the wine cellar at level 10. Let's get to it. All right, before we jump into this video, just a quick disclaimer. Yes, once again, another disclaimer. Damn it, Timmy, not that disclaimer, the other disclaimer. This video is not intended to be taken as a serious guide. It was created to show broken mechanics and what is possible. While all things shown can be done, attempting to do so could result in the following. Death and dismemberment, table flipping, monitor smashing, raging out in the comments, headaches, and more. This line of play should only be attempted by trained professionals. I swear to the sweet baby Yoda, it's absolutely ridiculous to find any type of good help these days. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, so in the previous video that I did where I showed you how to be OP at level one, I told you to come over here near the end of the video and get yourself a Relic Hunter Treasure Seeker and then follow that whole line of play we've done a thousand times. You know what the line of play is. That's not what you need to do. Forget that I ever said any of that. So right where I told you to get the truncheon, the reinforced steel truncheon up until that part, remember that part, and then everything after that, it just pretend like it never happened. Not only should you forget that that never happened, I also have an extra little bit of information. If you do not want to go through all the trouble to find the reinforced steel truncheon, we can actually come over here to Sepper Maru, and I'm gonna come over here because you can kill the bandit leaders with the thrall that we have, so we're just gonna we're gonna god this up a little bit just so I can show you real quickly because we're gonna make it quick So we're gonna come over here to a few of the locations. This is one of the locations here Let's make sure we are cloaked and this guy right here bandit leader one spawns right here You can kill this bad boy. You can see that he dropped an iron truncheon So that's one one of the things that they can drop. They can also drop leather bindings they can drop the steel truncheon and the chain bindings. So then what we're going to do is we're gonna fly over this way and there is another one over here, right here at this location. So you can see I have them marked. So right here, right here, and then where I'm at here. So we will kill this one and see if they drop it. And what did he drop? He dropped the uh, fiber bindings that, I mean, you can make those. And we don't have any over here, but the other one I know for a fact will spawn right here where this thug is. Anyway, you get the idea. You can farm those up and try to get the reinforced at this location and over here at the pirate ship where I showed you in the last video. Once you have your reinforced or steel or whatever better truncheon than the starter truncheon, we're gonna go back over here to the pirate bay area. Okay, now that we're over here, there's a specific location that you should come in at, and that's right here. You can see where I'm at on the map. There's a path that runs all the way up here. What we're after is this area right here. So before we go up there real quick, uh, some people may be wondering what they should spec into because obviously if you're playing this, you're, you're not going to be level 10 like me. I'm forcing myself at level 10 to show you basically broken mechanics of the game as the disclaimer said. You're going to level and you can follow this line of play if you want to and you're going to level up and you may be wondering, well, what should I spec into if I'm going this line of play? So let's go over here and take a look at our attributes real quick and talk about that. It doesn't matter what you spec into. Spec into whatever you want. Spec into all encumbrance for all it really matters. You can do this butt naked. It really does not matter what you do. Just, just spec whatever feels right to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up here and we're going to make sure she's got the truncheon on her, right? Yep. When in the wheel of pain, that's going to come into use here later. So we're just going to let her just do whatever her she does. She's just going to go through here and we're going to run into some people. Like we got a guy here. Actually, let's make sure we're not cloaked. We got a guy here. He's obviously going to want to attack us. So we'll just, uh, oh, he hit us there. So now she's just going to knock him out. Let her do the thing there. She should knock most of these people out pretty easily. We're going to eat a little bit of bees there to up our regen rate. And there we go. Just leave that guy because I don't care. And then we're going to run up here to this guy. Try to get him a little bit before... Oh, 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 we're out of stamina. Get in there, do it. I punched him. I punched him. Don't you want to aggro? Don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you want to aggro. You want to get on him. Get in there on him. Do the thing. Do the thing. So obviously you're going to make your way through doing that. You can also just run past them if you want because 
In the long run, it doesn't really matter. We're not after any of those people. Let's eat some more stingy goodness there. Pike guy, yep, we don't care about pike guy. Be careful, don't run out of stamina. We're gonna need to climb this area right here. So we're gonna run up here, just kind of sprint a little bit. Don't sprint a little bit, sprint a little bit. Don't sprint a little bit. Hopefully, spear guy's not close. Oh, that was so close. Now, ideally, you probably maybe wanna let her knock him out so that you don't have that situation that I had there. But once again, I am a trained professional. So we're going to then climb up here. Now, this is tricky because we need to make sure she spawns up here. You know how thralls work, they get janky and they don't always want to spawn where you want them to spawn. I don't even know where she's at right now. Come on, thrall, get up here. Get up here. We got to be careful we don't gain any aggro from over there. So let's see here. She should. We might be far enough away. Let's just run up here and see. You can also run up to here. Anything? Thrall, where are you at? Okay, so now what we're going to do is try to get up here. Maybe she will show up at some point. So now we're just going to kind of hold out to see where Thrall shows up at. Okay, she finally showed up. Here she is. Freaking Miss Numnuticus, I swear. You're absolutely ridiculous. So now we need to knock everybody out down here because we're after a specific thrall. And, uh, okay, we got hit a couple of times. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump back up here. We're going to eat some more bees and we should be all right. We should, she should just be able to do the thing. She's going to, she's going to take a bit of a beating. But at this point, as long as she knocks out one of these spy people, that's all we care about. If she dies in the process of knocking them out, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Should we just need one of the spy fighters, preferably a couple of them because we're going to level one and if it levels like trash, uh, that's not good. So hopefully she can handle her own down there. I don't know quite what's going on. She's got plenty of regen on her, so she might be all right. How's it going down there? No, I don't want that guy. No, I don't want that guy. Why am I training on that guy? Come on, knock him out. Knock him out. You got this. You got this. And as you can see, she's got a crap load of people on her. So she might be, she might, uh, she might be in trouble. Let's go down here and see. Is she even got close? Mm, almost, almost. So let's, uh, let's get some of these archers maybe on us. Okay, there we go. We got one on us. She's almost got it. She's almost got one of them knocked out. Um, if you're worried for her safety, you can always run away and get her to follow you so we can just run like up here run far away and uh she should teleport away from impending doom so we can just come back down here run away from the all the chaos down there there you go so she's almost dead but that's fine we can just let her heal back up here and then we can run back down here and see if she knocked out any of those people now we need to place our wheel somewhere close by wherever you want to place it you can ideally place it somewhere down the beach here and then what we're going to do is just come down here like so and we just need one of the spy fighters now Granted, you got to be really careful about doing this. And it looks like she knocked out one. I don't know if that's a fighter or an archer. But what I'm going to do is just run in here and try to dodge these people. Snag him. And it's a fighter. So that's good. We're getting crippled. We're all right. And crippled again. And then we just run behind like that. And then we should just be able to easily come down this way. We still have our fighter. Now what we want to do is we want to heal up. So we're just going to heal our way up with the magicalness that is bees. And then we're just going to jump down here, take a little bit of damage, and then we're going to run back to a wheel that we've placed somewhere down the shoreline somewhere around here wherever you decided to place it before you decided to get into that fight make sure that while you're running past all of these people you're being super safe not to run out of stamina because they are going to chase you and uh, you definitely don't want to get hit while you're carrying this precious cargo so before we ran up there we should have placed a wheel and placed our uh, hide bed roll wherever we want to place it down here things that I often forget to do then we're gonna put our thrall in there we're gonna tame up our thrall okay now that we have our thrall we can place the thrall out into the world there we go you can see spy fighter doesn't have the best stats starts with a war axe it's fine however he hits slightly harder than our other one and 
if leveled properly, if we get lucky, should end up with anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 HP. So we're going to run back up and I'm actually going to retrieve my other thrall. So here she is back up here. You can see she's recovering nicely. Now what we're going to do is just tell her to follow us and then we're going to take her back down here and remove all of her armor, everything she's got going on because we're done with her. Essentially, I mean, honestly, you could just leave her wherever or kill her or do whatever with her uh, because we just need the armor that she's wearing wearing so that our new thrall has a little bit of protection while it levels up. How are we going to level it up? If you don't know that by now, you haven't been watching my content. And just in case that is the case, thank you and welcome to the channel. And also to level them up, we're just going to do the same things that we've been doing. Either go kill the whites or go kill the silverbacks. The silverbacks are, or uh, gray apes, I mean, and silverbacks are probably going to be your easiest bet with a thrall this fresh. As you can see, it does not have a lot of HP, does not have a lot of armor. The whites are probably going to give it a bit of a run for its money. So we're just going to pull all of this stuff off of her. We're going to tell her to stop following and uh, we're just going to place her here. We're going to take this guy. We're going to pull all of this off of him. We're going to put all of this on him. We're going to pull this war axe off of him. Now, if you did not get a long sword or a better weapon, we got the shark bite daggers that we can use, even though they don't have crit anymore. They still do 31 damage and he will multiply that by a little over two. So it's like 2.198, if I remember correctly, is his base damage. Whatever weapon you have, if you don't have a weapon that while you were doing the initial line of play to get her that deals more than 26 damage, leave the axe on him, but we do. So I'm actually going to by one point. So we're going to equip the long sword. Then we need to give him an absolutely fantastic name. There we go. He is now known as Sir Numpty of Nunnington, a name befitting of such a fantastic beast. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tell him to follow us and we're going to have all this stuff on him that we have. And we're going to go to over here where we've been leveling and level him up till 20. You have to don't try this without a level 20. He needs at least 10,000 HP. If you level him up and you can take a look at his stats here, uh, he's got 72% chance for strength, 79%. Oh, that's terrible. We got terrible rolls. Anyway, we can see what he hits when he gets 20. If he doesn't end up with at least 10k HP. You need to bring it back over here, put the truncheon on him, knock another one out, and try it again. And as you can see, he leveled trash with only 7,022. We did not win the lottery with this one, so essentially what we have to do is go back over there and knock out another one. Okay, second time was a charm. We got her. She has got 10,190 HP, which should do the job just fine. Now, once you have her, we need to properly gear her up because at her current state, she will absolutely get crushed in that dungeon. She needs good gear, heavy armor, and a better weapon, better than anything that we have here. So what we're going to do is equip her with plenty of healing goodness, and then we're going to head up here to this location here and right in here uh, up at the mounds of the dead because we're after a tier three fighter up here because what we're going to do is then tame said tier three fighter and take its star metal weapon. We're also going to go on a killing spree up here to farm the Sumerian steel armor. One of the first places I like to check is up here at Stargazers because we can actually get a Berserker up here. And if that happens, you're in luck. You should be able to use the Berserker for this provided it has a nice set of HP. But we're going to see what we got up here. Can also get a tier three fighter. So what do we get? Perfect. Right from the get go, we get a tier three fighter. So these guys will basically one shot you. So make sure Sure you put a uh, bed down somewhere around here. Um, we should be able to climb up here. Ooh, 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 that was close. Okay, we should be good now. She should initiate the fight and start knocking them out. There we go. And we're safe up here. We can just eat some bees and uh, wait for her to patiently knock them out. So now that we have this, this is what we're after right here. Take this, tame it up. You should have dropped a wheel somewhere around here. You can actually drop a wheel right up here, close by, if you come in around this way. So come in through the backside. Remember, the backside is the best side. So you come around here to like up this way and around here, or come through here all careful. Like Anyway, you can drop a wheel up here, I'll show you. So we have our wheel, we can just place it right, we just had it right there and drop her in there. Bam, tame it, take that, 
Take that back out of there. Sweet. We got it. We're after what we got. You can see that she gives you the star metal greatsword, 58 damage, 19% armor pin. Beautiful. That is what we were after. We don't need any of this anymore. Leave her here. She's useless. Do whatever you want with her. It doesn't matter. She served her purpose. Now what we're going to do is basically just run right down the way here. I'm going to fly because I'm impatient. You guys don't have time for this. Run right down the way here till we get to right over here. Bam, right here. And this is the entrance to where we wanna go and we can start farming up stuff. So uh, these archers, they will hit kinda hard, but they will also initiate a fight. Hide behind crap, get her to fight. Okay, good, she's shoot attacking him. He's still trained on us for some reason, but we have to run around because this other guy here will one shot us. Okay, so perfect. And you can see she's already able to take a bit of a beating and she tears through them relatively quickly. Can you please attack this guy? There we go. She made relatively short work. We're gonna, he doesn't have the armor that we're after. Keep going, check this guy. Doesn't have the armor that we're after. So now we're just gonna continue to rinse and repeat this till we get a full set of Sumerian armor. Okay, you have your thrall. She's in full Sumerian. You got her loaded down with gruel. She's got her a star metal sword and we're gonna come over here and go in the wine cellar. If you don't know where it's at, you should by now watch my video on it. I have a guide, it's right there. We're gonna go in here. All right, so here we are inside the dungeon. Now, I highly advise doing this butt naked if you're doing it super low level. If you're not like in your 50s, 60 something like that and you're doing you're crazy like me and you're doing this like at a super low level and following this path I don't even know what level you would be by now if you actually like followed through this I'm doing this to show how broken thralls are so uh yeah like be naked and we can do this naked now we don't actually have to fight anything in here so she's following us what we're going to do is just run through here and you can actually just run past all these people. You can see that the AI is slow. So we'll just run down the side here. Manage your stamina carefully. You can't do this if you don't manage your stamina carefully. So just sprint when you're running past something. If you don't know where all the things are, I'm going to run my mouth the whole time and show you so you can see how I go about doing this. See, there's stuff there, so now we're going to sprint. And then once we get past all that stuff, we're gonna stop sprinting right here so we can rebuild stamina. Actually, uh, don't click the freaking mouse button. Uh, we want to now sprint here and sprint jump and that was a mess that would could have went way smoother uh, then we're gonna have some skeletons here so we're gonna sprint past here and then we're gonna stop sprinting let our stamina rebuild i'm gonna sprint on here just a little bit now up here we're definitely gonna want to sprint now you can fight your way through this by just like telling her to stop following in certain locations and she will just go ham and kill everything but uh we should be fine there's some archers here that can clip you in the legs, but if you just keep moving, you should be all right. And then we want to run past here. You can see the boss there didn't even realize what was going on. He was like, oh yeah, it's just a random person. Run past that thing. Just manage your sprinting and you can honestly just, as we've done many times before, just run past all of it. Clip that corner so the archer can't hit you. Run past all of these guys. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, we, we got hit there, but we're fine. You just run past all of it. You can see we just got hit there again. He managed to not hit our feet, so we did not get crippled. And then we're just going to run past all of this, just like so. Run past that guy. Half the time, by the time they realize that you're there, the AI doesn't even really have time to respond, so you can easily just bypass this entire dungeon. Like, we can literally just run through the entire thing. Was that numbnuts behind us? No, we got a lot, <laughs> a lot of NPCs back there. We're fine, though. We're fine. So we're just going to keep running. And, uh, oh, you might want to bring some food and a water skin. Don't bring anything serious is what I'm trying to tell you. If you're this low level and you're doing, the, and you're this freaking crazy, don't, don't bring anything serious because you're just going to lose it. If you're taking this, this line of play, like I said, if you have to level up two of those guys, they're fast levelers, but I have no idea what level you'll be at. Run to the side there so you don't hit the skeletons and uh, then stop sprinting right about here so that you can sprint past these guys. Now you kind of want to sprint until you run out of stamina because you do not want to kite a bunch of stuff back into this boss dungeon, this boss area. You can let your thrall kill it before you initiate the boss, but this is better off if you just... Uh, 
Just do that and we should be fine. We'll take a look here. Yeah, you can see Thrall's back there behind us. Look at that, beautiful. Okay, so Thag's probably going to kill you. I'm just warning you now. Let's, uh, let's use our skin here, drink a little bit. Eat some bees. Okay, so what we need to do, and this this gets sketchy. Let me let me tell you why. She attacks stuff, or he, whatever you have going on here. It whatever will attack skeletons in the ground. There's a bunch of skeletons in the ground all the way around the outside of here, and she will try to attack them. We don't want that. We want her to attack Thag, and it gets a little iffy. And I may die. We'll, we'll give this a go. I've already died a bunch of times. We're gonna try this. This is like my fourth or fifth time trying this, and I. Think Think I have it down to a science so get her to follow you stand right about here get a little bit closer okay right about there bring up the menu like this highlight over it wait till he's coming at there now she should aggro onto him and we should have a fight he's aggroed onto us are you are you attacking him are you confused you got your sword out like you want to do something do something lady oh that's close okay maybe that'll get her going I don't know what she's doing. Let's see. We may have to tell her to refollow us again. I think she might be broken. If that happens, this is so, it's so freaking, I don't know. It's the AI. It's not the dungeon. It's the AI and the situation here. Look at her. Like, what are you doing, lady? Okay, follow. Let's try this again. Stop following. Are you going to attack him? No, see, she's going for the skeletons. She's going for the freaking skeletons. Follow. So if that happens, you reset, you run over the opposite side, she should follow. Now, if you didn't, if you brought a bow, you can just shoot him with a bow. If you did not bring a bow, it gets sketchy because you essentially got to get up on him and manage to hit him. There we go. So I think I did it. Yeah, I did it. Okay. That is so freaking iffy. You could just bring a crap bow and a couple of arrows if you want to make that a lot easier. Uh, I'm just showing you the absolute hardest way possible to do this because apparently I'm a freaking masochist. Okay, so now this is it. This is the fight. You don't have to do anything. She's got plenty of gruel on her. She should be able to handle the fight with that sword. And all we have to do is just hang back. Oh, look, he's aggroed to us. That's actually good that he's aggroed to us because that means he's not going to be hitting her. Oh, nope, he's back to hitting her. So that's the fight. And at this point, it gets kind of drawn out because you're just kind of hanging out. So I'm just going to hang out and watch these two till we get to the next part of the fight. Okay, here we go. So he just popped over to there. Now we need to be super careful. This will one shot us if we get hit by it. So we need to be super freaking careful here. And we're just going to run around like so. Okay, we should be good now. That was the first one. So the next one will spawn the skeletons. Like seriously, this low level, if you get hit by that, you're you're pretty much done. Once again, if you're trying this line of play and you attempt this super early in the game, you'll probably have a lot more HP. Uh, spec whatever you want, doesn't really matter. We're gonna need a couple of bees here. Make sure our water's full. We don't wanna be uh, too low. So now we're just going to continue to wait if he keeps aggroing to you like that, stay kind of close because it's actually really good because it pulls away from him attacking her and she gets free shots in. We can't really do much because, we, I mean, we could maybe get behind him and attack him with daggers, but with only 200 HP, his swings will just wreck us, like absolutely wreck us. As you can see, she's holding her own. He's only got her down to 8,000 and she's only healing with gruel. So I'm going to wait till the next part of the fight uh, takes place here because this is boring to watch. Okay, here we go. He's getting ready to initiate the next part of the fight. Stay close to the center here. Makes it just a little bit easier. Now, see how he spawned all these skeletons and you're thinking, oh crap, skeletons, what do I do? Well, what you do is you run like an idiot continuously because the skeletons can never actually catch you as long as you keep moving. So at this point, you can't really watch the fight to see what's going on. Oh my God, Thrall, did you really, did you really disengage? Okay, so if this happens, you're somewhat screwed um, because she disengaged. Is she still following us? Maybe we can bring her, okay, we can bring her over here. So there we go. So now I have to try to hit Thag again. Luckily, we have a bow. If you, you may just want to bring a bow, bring a bow so that you can shoot Thag to keep her fighting 
on him because otherwise you're pretty much screwed. Lady, what are you attacking over there? Okay, she finally started fighting him again, finally. So now what we need to do is run circles around them so that we don't break her aggro with him. We can't have her teleporting to us. Okay, here we go with the next phase. He's going back. We're going to run kind of close, stick relatively close to them there, and prepare for uh, more skeletons and the blue lines here. Okay, there we go. That was a close one there. We took a hit, but we can take these skeletons don't hit very hard, so we can take hits from them. She's almost got him done. She's almost got him. And those other skeletons, if you don't get close to them, they shouldn't aggro to you. So, and even if they do, you just keep moving and they can't hit you. You can even screw with the AI and like run back towards it. So if we run like towards it like this, yeah, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't know what to do when you're moving. It just chases and chases and chases. So we can just run right around there like that and uh, just keep moving. She's almost got him. She's going to finish it here in just a second and we will have completed this at level 10. It's absolutely ridiculous. You're honestly not going to ever actually do this because you can't because you'll just naturally level as you're leveling those thralls there to level 20. Even though she's a fast leveling thrall, I just want to show you how absolutely broken thralls are and you don't even really need to play the game because they do everything for you and you can just run past the things you don't want to fight, get the thrall fighting the things you do want to fight and uh you know, conquer pretty much any part of the game. I'm actually going to continue to do this, turn it into like a little bit of a series here where I'm just going to, because you can access pretty much any part of the game. There's a few areas where we can uh, get some weapons to tech jump to even go to the volcano this low level. And we actually gained two levels off of that, her killing him. And now we can come over here. Uh, we did not get any of his weapons, which kind of sucks. We can actually get some of his weapons. You can do this and uh, tech jump her even more to get a better weapon than what she has. And you can see all of these guys. We can now go through and loot all of them. They've got random stuff on them. I'll take all the arrows. Look, there's another truncheon, steel truncheon from all of them because they instantly die when Thag dies. All kinds of goodies, but there you go. So I made this look easy. I often make it look easy, but keep in mind that this actually took me a couple of times to manage to pull off because the AI was being janky. She did not want to attack what I wanted her to attack. She would not attack uh, Thag, and he managed to one-shot me a couple of times. But you can definitely run back here, and if that does happen, uh, you can just reset the whole thing because she'll stay here, and then you run back to here, you spawn back in the dungeon, run past everything till you get back to her, and then have her follow you, and then just reset Thag and do it all over again. And that, I actually had to do that a couple of times. It took me a hot minute to pull this off. So keep that in mind if you're trying to actually pull this off. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, so check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like the comment, just hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.